We got to go back to the uh, main quest, of course, over here. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my way back home. I got to get rid of some stuff from my inventory, farm a little bit, and then I'm going to go towards the mission, to be honest. And uh, we will continue on from there. Man, I love it that we can now glide. That is so cool. The thing about this game is that the game is going to keep on upgrading. The game is keep on, going to keep on getting more and more upgrades. That's going to make it even more interesting. Uh, before I go anywhere, actually, hold up a minute. I think if I'm not mistaken, I got to go to Gilly's Cup over here, including the Lila meter real fast. Because if I go that way, I'm going to be able to get myself some clay. And we desperately need some clay here. Hey, Delilah, please don't go to sleep. I want to meet you. What brings you back to the old Oh, bar? it's nice to meet you, Steinten. I'm Delilah, mother of Oni and uh, Neo, who's wife on Badru. Ah. And the boss of this here farm, if you don't mind me saying so. If you ever need a fresh pint of milk or a couple of eggs, be sure to give me a holler. Oh. All the pots I've been using to store grain over uh, with the winter are starting to crack. I'm afraid if I don't get some proper clay to patch them. Uh, okay, so she needs clay. Be sure to come back and try me jam. Alright, so you need clay. Now we know. In that case, I was saying, let me mark down this spot over here and uh, keep her going. Oh, actually, I think I had some clay to give her. Take it too late. Too late now, buddy. And as I was saying, I will get myself quite a bit of uh, clay. All of it. All the clay that I can find, I'm going to try to collect. So let me collect this. I think the clay is going to be in this area, right? Oh yeah, it is down below. There we go. And I think I'm also going to be able to collect me this chest because now I have a glider. So jump, glide. Hey, look at that. That's how you get here. Ooh, cookie oil, wheat, and some coins as well. Oh no, this fella collected all the clay. Are you kidding me, game? Oh, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> he collected all the clay. Can I believe that my backpack is already full? <laughs> all three slots of mine are full. And we gotta get ourselves again another backpack, which is gonna be quite expensive. 5,000 coins. We barely got to 500 though, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how it's gonna go. Alright, we're back home. Uh, let me get rid of everything from my inventory here. Look at that. We have so much stuff. Thankfully. Wait. I think I'm going to be able to place that one somewhere in the house, right? A treasure chest. So, I do need the arrows though. Let me get the arrows back again because I'm going to need to use these ones. Uh, when it comes to this guy... Definitely going to place it here. I'm kind of using these ones like furniture. Just putting stuff on them. <laughs> because you cannot interact with it. Alright, that's done. Can I click me anything? Um, not really. Oh wait, I did get myself those oysters, right? These ingredients are required to start. Didn't I get myself some oysters? What did I do with them? Yeah, these ones. Open up this oyster. Even if you don't find the pearl, you can at least eat it. Why am I not able to cook it though? I was guessing that I could actually cook it in here. But no. I'm guessing I need different type of oysters to do it. Oh, never mind. So now... I'm actually opening them up. There we go. So now they're op opened. And now I can actually cook them here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, perfect. Don't remember exactly who wanted the... Um, Grilled oysters. Or they may have actually wanted something else, not grilled oysters. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how this goes. Okay, that's fine. Let me put them behind. Uh, leave these ones over here. Let me see if I can finally make me some uh, smoke bombs. Uh, there we go, smoke bombs. Not that many, but enough. Alright, that's 20. 
Come on, buddy. Look at Alright, can I also make me some more of these arrows? Yes, we can. Perfect. I'm still gonna keep on using those ones until I finish them, and then I'm gonna start using the good arrows. Alright, let's make more. I wanna have like a full stack of 100. How many do we have? 76. Let's make another stack. One more should do, because that's gonna be the last one. There we go. And let's also start making a lot of these ones. The smoke bombs. Done for that. Uh, what I'm also going to get, I'm also going to get one of these clays on me because I'm going to want to give it to the Lila eventually. Let me place everything inside here. These are all consumables, right? I just want to have all the consumables in a single slot. Food in a slot here and whatever. All right. Uh, hold up. Isn't this done? Yes, it is. Look at all that leather. Awesome. So that's done. Uh, what else am I supposed to craft around here? I need so much fabric to make this bed. So this is a stand-up boat that we already have. A basic smelter, basic sawmill, campfires, furnace, makeshift tent. I think I'm going to have to start making me the standard stove. And the preparation station, but I need uh, quite a bit of clay to do these apparently. Alright, well I guess I'm going to have to go and get me some clay then. But in the meantime, uh, these do not look like they want to be watered down. What I got to do, though, is get me the other seeds. I place all the seeds out here. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be carrot. There. There. And I guess another one over there. Next, let's go with carrots over here. Carrot. Carrot. Carrot and carrot. There we go. Next up, let me go with potatoes. Oh, by the way, if you go with information... Like that. Grows into one crop of potatoes. Helps keep other nearby crops types hydrated. Ooh. Okay, what about this one? Grows into one crop of potato, boosts quality of other nearby crops. What? That is so cool. I had no idea. All right, let me boost up the quality then of other crops. Then go with potatoes. I almost filled up everything. <laughs> I have one more slot ready, but that's fine. I'm going to use the other one later. But now, let me water down everything. I hope I'm going to get a few seeds out of these ones. At least one or two seeds out of all these things that we just planted. Now, of course, before I'm going to go on an adventure, I'm going to definitely have to make sure I get my new glider on. And uh, switch the look of it. Just to match my outfit and everything. Uh, look at my hat moving around when I'm actually <laughs> moving like this. What the heck? That is so weird. It's revealing my bald head. And boom, we're done. Everything is watered down. Perfect. And with that, so we'll say, let me go to my wardrobe. Uh, let's see. I really want to get better glasses. I'm just gonna remove this one. I don't want to have anything on my head. Confirm. Oh wait, go back. Outfits, pants, uh, skin, glider. Hey, there we go. We got the chopper glider. Finally, we can activate it. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Look at this thing. That is so cool. If I go to the mail, we got no mail. All right. Can we actually sell anything? I don't think so. But what I want to do, get rid of the potato. And uh, let me keep her going. 
let's just carry on with the adventure. And of course, as I'm gonna do this, it is 3 a.m. Um, everybody's gonna be sleeping, and while that's gonna happen, I'm gonna try to catch me some bugs. But, first of all, let me focus on the quest here, right? Now we have the glider, which means we can actually explore the temple. Dude! Oh, are you kidding me, dude? He got scared because he saw me getting ready to shoot at it. Oh my god, I got him in one shot. How? Did I use the other... Oh, I think it's because we're either using the other arrow or it was because I actually shot him with the better bow. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened there. Alright, so, our mission is going to go through this side. But we add, I think I'm also going to go to the Phoenix to try to increase a little bit of my uh, stamina here. Or more like the focus, because we do have quite a bit of renown we can actually get rid of. So let me do just that. And of course, glide. <sighs> Look at this. Gliding is so cool. I cannot wait for developers to also implement a photo mode in the game. We definitely, definitely need that. Oh, wait, wait. What? Loot? Almost horn wallpaper. What? There we go. We just increased our focus bonus by 35. And we don't have any more. All right, that's fine. At least we didn't come here for nothing because we definitely got something. Uh, I think we got a wallpaper and the chest, of course. Yeah, we got this wallpaper. Interesting. I'm curious what you do with these chests because I have quite a bit of these chests around. I have, not, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. Alright, let us visit the uh, ruins then. So first of all, let's check this out. Because now we can finally explore this properly. Look at that, and Gina is also here. What? Alright, let's see what she's gonna say. Doing your own research? Excellent! You brought the glider! Uh -huh. I've been trying to figure out the purpose of this place while you were gone. Uh. Unfortunately, progress has been slow. I spotted something glowing across the gorge. It sort of reminded me of something I found near my tent, like um, likely human made. It looks like some kind of an ancient carving, if only I could just study up close. Well, that's why you got me. <laughs> right. Do your best to make your way over there and please stay safe. We'll do our best to keep an eye on you, okay? <laughs> I suspect the key is likely hidden somewhere in the old ruins over in the Bahari Bay. If you look around here, you should be able to find it there. If you look around there, you should be able to find it. Near Bahari Bay, so maybe that's where I gotta go look for it. Alright, let's see what she's talking about. Oh, I cannot... I cannot walk on this, apparently. What about this doorway? The strange writing says, Storage in the human language. There are additional carvings be uh, below it that are, that are hard to make out. The door won't budge. Hmm. What is that? An ancient tome? We have been here for too long. Without the sun, I cannot say how long. I simply know that it has been too long. You can tell by the looks on uh, others' faces. Hunger, fear, anger. They are being consumed by emotion. They have left us with more questions than answers, so the only uh, response is fear. Interesting. Alright, let me try to make my way up then. Here, I guess. I hope I'm going to be able to find like a lot of puzzles and stuff that we're going to have to solve right here, to be honest, because I love puzzles. Oh, we have found another one. I sit here waiting, wondering. I wonder whether you made it to one of the other temples in time. I wonder whether those temples held up at all. I wonder whether we will see each other again. Dear Glossa, if you are reading this, know that one thing I do not wonder about is our love. No matter how angry the others here get, it is that love that keeps me grounded. I hope somehow or another that you can feel it too. We will meet again one day. Interesting. 
This place has been abandoned for a long time. The door ahead seems inoperable. Ooh, and I don't know these things. And of course, if that thing, that geyser is going to activate, it's going to just boost me up, right? Which is great because now we have the glider. We can make use of it. What about up here? Oh, a chest. I was just about to lose this one. Okay. Nothing more. Come on. These gliders, these uh, geysers are awesome. I love that we have this. Oh my god, it boosts you up so much. What is that? A green shiny pebble. What? So I just found a green shiny pebble that I couldn't really find if I didn't get the... Uh... Oh, another chest. Hold up a minute. Let me grab this bad boy up. There we go. Look at that. We already have three chests. What am I supposed to do with all these chests? We're collecting so many. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Huh. Inspect. This symbol seems familiar. It inspires a vague feeling that there are maybe others. Interesting. Yeah, there may be more of these um, symbols around. All right, let me use the geyser again. To boost myself all the way to the top. I'm guessing that is the stone she said that she's seeing on the other side, maybe? I don't know. I mean, there was no way for her to see it, actually. All right, let's see. The people here have begun to shun me. They think I am the one keeping them here. I simply do as I was told. Guard the puzzles and prevent anyone from touching it. Oh, puzzles! I want to play with those puzzles, buddy. I want to solve it. Look at that. All right, so there is a puzzle I got to solve. Huh. Hey, there we go. All right. Um... Seriously, it's going to be that easy? Is it seriously going to be that easy? <laughs> there we go. We got it. Uh, so one of them has been activated. I got to find the other three. What? Return to Gina. That is so cool. Wait, I don't want to use this again. We already solved it. Uh, resume. Exit. Yeah, I already solved this. I don't have to solve it again. Hmm. Uh, the thing is, if I'm not mistaken... There might be more to the other side. I don't think so. I don't see any other tablets around. So I don't think there's any even more to that side. Unless that door at the bottom opened up. Although also that door looks closed. All right. In that case, let me make my way back to Gina. Now the question is... Oh, there's a chest there. Well, now I know how to get back to Gina then. That door is also closed. All right. Let's go back. And also collect this one. Where's the Lotus? So many resources that we're getting. Not many coins, unfortunately, inside these chests. But look at that. We have so many chests already. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Hey, Gina. I saw the puzzle. Need any help? Oh. Yes? Explain what happened with the puzzle. So the image I saw was some kind of an ancient puzzle. Hmm. And you heard the sound when you mashed all the pictures up? <laughs> like I said before, there's another one of these in the ruins across the river from my tent. Across the river from her tent. Maybe we should check it out? They may be responding to your presence. Back Maybe. To Maybe. Alright, let's go check it out then. Let's see uh, what she's talking about. Maybe it is going to respond to my presence. Oh, hold up. Found another tablet here. 
I often ponder why this temple was built here, of all places. I believe I finally found my answer. Flow, it's in rough form, it's so powerful, and here, it has combined with the water. Together, they have evolved into something else. I'll have to study it more uh, for better answers. If only by sending in this water, I would actually increase my flow. That would be amazing. More like my focus, actually, on my flow. All right. Wait, what's happening? Uh, and from here, if I check the map. Mm hmm. Oh, if I hit on this, do I go back to my housing plot automatically without fast traveling or paying for the fast travel? That's amazing. I had no idea that's a possibility. Uh, that's good to know. So I'm going to make my way to this thing next. And now we also have the ability to glide, right? Which means I can also go and grab me that chest down there. So let me try to do that. I wish I could just jump off here, though. <laughs> oh, man. But this glider that we have, it's so cool. Love it. Come on, buddy. Let me make my way to this chest over here. There we go. Getting so many things. And the question is, how the heck do I go back? Oh, hold up. I think I may be able to catch me a fish over there. Yeah, let's try it out. Let's see what that's all about. I may have to throw my um, fishing rod a little bit further. Oh no, that's gonna work. Come on, little guy. Striped days. What? That was cool. Okay, so the question is how do I get out of here? What if I do that? Oh, it's gonna spawn me back in here. What the heck? So, how do I get. Oh, am I supposed to just do a little bit of this? I guess. Yeah, I always keep on forgetting that you can actually kind of like uh, walk on these walls. If that's something I can say. <laughs> We're not really walking on it. All right, click that. And let me catch me some bugs. I don't think I ever caught one of these. Wait, what? Hold up, bugger. Hold up, buggo. Seriously, dude. What? Dude. Can you please? Oh my god, I cannot catch that fella. I feel like I need... A bit of dust bomb? Finally got it. Man. We got ourselves a spotted stink, stink bug, I think it's called. Look at this, we have so many of these chests. What the heck am I even supposed to do with all of them? <laughs> I don't even know if you can sell them. I really don't know if you can sell them. Alright. Uh, throw away. Yes. There we go, because I want to get me... What? Dude. I want to collect this thing. Finally. All right. So Gina is going to be this way. The problem is my backpack is full again. So you know what? Let me go for the map. Let me go back home. There we go. Uh, let me get rid of these things. Oh, you know what? This one looks awesome, actually. This one is one of the ancient chests. That's why it looks a little bit different. This one is also ancient. Ooh, this one is kind of like gold and also ancient. That's so cool. There we go. Probably going to have quite a lot of them, and I don't think I'm going to be able to make use of them. But for now, they should be good. Let me also eat this up. Eat this up. I need the energy. And that is going to be for now. All right, perfect. Place everything in the inventory.
I want to see if uh, this wallpaper is actually going to look good in my house. Hold up. Let me see. Oh, it looks great. Here we go. Awesome. All right, not going to say no to that. That works. That works. Uh, let me go back in here. Get rid of this wallpaper. Perfect. And let us see what this is saying. Here's a little something as thank you for continuing uh, patronage. Oh, oh, he gave me a coin. A lucky coin. You just received the coin from Zeki. Using it on the Wondrous Machine inside his shop for a prize. Okay. Looks like you got yourself a handy dandy Zeki's expanded backpack. How's the extra storage space? Really? Yeah. No more trips back home every half a sun cycles, right? Anyway, I just say thanks for being a loyal customer. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff from her as well. Acorns, pineapple, uh, pine corns. My dad gave these seeds to me as a uh, present, but you can have them. You'd make better use of them. I would anyway. Don't tell my uh, regifted these to you, or I'll throw it a fit. Okay. As you have continued our pursuit with fishing, this is excellent news. I have a new rod recipe available for you next time. Okay, buddy. Not gonna buy one just yet because I don't really have the money. But I think if I don't mistake, I can actually plant some trees around here. Grow them, collect them eventually. You can! Of course, I gotta only plant it on my own yard. Which is in here. That is cool. Alright, uh, sure. Plant it there for now. Let's go with two and plant one of these as well. And three and plant some of these. Huh. Okay, cool. We plant a little bit. Uh, next, let me get this one going. There we go. Definitely only want to use the look lucky coin here in the Zeki's shop to see what I'm gonna get. So let me keep her going. Let's see what we can do next. All right. So as I'm gonna be making my way towards the mission. Let me also go to Zeki's store real fast, just to get rid of that uh, coin. Oh my god, but this glider though, look at this thing. That is cool. Love it. Uh, where is Zeki's store? It's not this one, this one is the furniture store. I think Zeki's store is right here, yeah. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh wait, what? What did I just get? What is that? A lucky box. Open to see what's inside. Huh. Uh... Orange crackling fireworks. What? Oh, I think if I'm not mistaken, if I go with the bow and I select the fireworks... Let's see how this goes. Oh, that was so cool! We got some fireworks! <laughs> that was awesome! Definitely gonna want to try to use the fireworks during the nighttime, not now. So, uh, let me keep her going. That is awesome. And while we're at it, I'm gonna use uh, all the bug... All the bug, uh, or more like the smoke bombs, to try to catch me as many bugs as possible. There we go. I'm going to have to start selling a lot of these bugs. Including, of course, getting ourselves also leather. Like, oh, dang it, I did not want to do that, buddy. Alright, I forgot about the... Switching of arrows. I think I left some of the arrows back home. If I'm not mistaken, some of the uh, normal ones. Yeah, I must have done it. There we go. There's one. <laughs> Perfect. Got some of these. We're gonna have to do a lot of looting of this game. Like, a ton of it. 
Probably gonna have to become like a really powerful uh, hunter and bug catcher, to be honest. As we are gonna have to do a lot of it. Uh, let's collect this fella. I know that these fellas apparently require a lot of. Uh... Never mind. Not this time. I thought he's gonna require a lot of dust from me. Let's collect them. Look, this one is sparkling. Okay, awesome. Ah, missed. Oh, hold up, hold up. Look at this bug. It's a golden one. I want it. No, 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 no. There we go. Got him. That is definitely a brand new one. My first rare bug. Oh, wait, what? That was a rare one? That's why it was golden. I get it now. Oh, there's another one. Wait. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Get back here, buddy. No, get back here. You're gonna be my second rare bug. Gosh dang it. Stop it. <laughs> They're not easy to catch, apparently. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh, jeez. You better be worth a lot of coins, buddy. Oh my god. I may not have the proper, uh... Smoke bomb to get him. Look at that. No. What if I do that? Ah, that's what you have to do. Okay, you gotta absolutely spam it. The fire breathing dragon. What? That was so cool. All right. Well, now we know. The more you play the game, the more you explore it, the better we get at it. That's awesome. Uh, let me catch me that fellow as well. Thank you very much. A common one. Awesome. Alright, like that. Stop it, buddy. You stop it right now. Hey, Hecla. What are you doing? Does she want something else from me? Hold up, let me see what next she wants. Uh, Jenna often complains that her f uh, food lacks the uh, requisite amount of taste. Perhaps some garlic will help clear up the situation. Hmm. Do you know anyone named Alba or Glocka? Uh, there are humans around. Why are you asking me this? Just, I don't know, suspicious. If I'm being honest, I did not. I did not have the chance to meet uh, many humans. Oh, I'm asking her because I actually... Um, I get it now. I actually uh, read those informations about them. That's why. Okay, I have no garlic to give to her. Gina is here. But Gina is also going to have to follow me soon because I'm going to have to go for a mission. Wait, can I go behind the waterfall? I don't think so. I think I got to go back this way. That's why, yeah. Gina's going to come into the... Um, here. Okay, what do I have to place here? Oh! Ah, so that's what I opened up. There we go. Oh, man. This looks so cool. I cannot wait to open up all these walls eventually. That's going to look awesome. And, of course, Gina is here as well. So this is the one that we activated. We're going to have to activate every single one of them eventually. Doing your own research? It wasn't like this last time Hecla and I explored this area. Hmm. Oh. Look, it seems activating the puzzle in the waterfall room lit up the, a part of the wall. I bet there are other spots like this uh, that you can light up. And those small carvings, hmm, they light up when you approached. Try and interact with one. We'll stand at a safe um, distance. <laughs> this flow mixed with other elements. I read myths about unique types of flow outside of that. If flow is uh, really in the water rank here, it would really explain a lot. I think that the puzzle was hiding something. I doubt it's just one thing. Humans had a lot of secrets, many we don't even know about. The Academy may know more, but they won't be forthcoming. We'll have to do our own research. Oh, this is risky. Should we stop? What do you think it is? I don't know. When humans disappeared, a lot of their records went with uh, 
went, went up with them. I think these places may be the key to the truth of it all. Hmm. Huh. Can I eat today? Okay. So, interact with the mysterious stone device, which means I'm guessing this one. Oh, wait, what? Ah, uh, I gotta bring the specific creatures in here, I think. So you have unlocked an ancient vault. Click on a bundle and add the rare items requested. So I gotta bring um, one mantis, one vampire crab, and one mutated angler. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, never mind. So that's the ones that I gotta bring. I gotta bring sushi, a blue marlin, a stripped snail, and a green pearl. Which we don't have any. This is the mantis, a void ray. Okay. A trout thinner. <laughs> Hydrate pro, uh, pro fertilizer. So we need some poo. <laughs> and some fishies and fisherman's brew. Okay, we, we need quite a lot of stuff. We don't have any of these though. Yeah, we have absolutely none of these to contribute. Well, at least we know what we're going to have to do. Once I'm going to find some of these uh, specimens, I'm definitely going to have to bring them over for sure. Fascinating. It's some kind of an ancient vault. A vault that only opens when you put some stuff inside? Hmm, humans are weird. No offense. <laughs> None taken. That's why I like you. Fully focused on exploration. I think I'd be the best to collect the samples shown in the carvings. Maybe I can figure out how to light up the rest of the big mural in the meantime. Awesome. So, as I'm actually gonna try to find all the creatures to bring to that vault, uh, she's gonna hopefully find some more keys that will help me uh, open up other puzzles as well. Yeah, hoping it, hopefully that's going to be what's going to happen here. Interesting. Well, in the meantime, visit the register in Jill's shop. Visit the ruins of Bahari. Craft and place the stove on your plot and craft and place the stove on your plot. I mean, I know I got to do that. Crafting it, though, is going to be a little bit of a uh, different story. Uh, while we're back here, let me actually go for some clay. Because we really, really need some clay. Ooh, hold up. Let me grab that bite. Uh, wait, what? No, no, no. Stop moving. I just think I do. There we go. A common field cricket. Interesting. This one is sparkling. It's great. So many bugs you gotta look after. Alright, let me see. Any fishes inside here? Cannot see it here, but let me just try to catch one, I guess. Because we know we're gonna need some unique fishies to bring over to the vault. There's so much exploration you gotta do in this game. It's not even funny. Alright, I don't know if this is a fish that I need, but I'm uh, still gonna catch it, of course. Come on, buddy. I'm going to have to try to catch uh, fishies in all sorts of locations until I'm going to find the one that I need. I think that's a minnow. Hey, finally we're getting some clay. Oh, we got a dragon here. What? The incense fills you with calming warmth. What? A what is that supposed to mean? Hey, anyway, let me grab some of this. And I'm gonna try to uh, collect me all, all of it. Look, let me also catch whatever this is. Thank you very much. Let's catch another one. Hey, we are level three catcher, book catcher. Awesome. I think I'm seeing a bug out here that it's glistering, so let me try to catch it. There we go. No, seriously, dude. There we go. That should put you to sleep. <laughs> Alright. I'm definitely gonna have to give myself a lot of these bombs because apparently I'm actually going through them quite fast. 
All right, let me catch that. Let me also try to catch me this fish over here as well. This one is a high level one, hopefully. Man, this world is so special. The game has been running so smoothly and I love it. As I was saying, I was only having some issues when uh, w when I first started the game because the game was just loading in for the first time and look at what I just found, what the heck? This is the first time I found one of these chests. That's strange. What? Yeah, that's definitely the first time I find one of these chests in the water. My first waterlogged chest. Awesome. Well, oh, look at this fish. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I should have definitely uh, remembered what type of fishes I got to bring to the bowl so I can try to bring them if I manage to find some. A spotted blue head. Awesome. All right, let's see what other type of fishes we got here. There's two more spots. Of course, you can still catch fishes if you do, even if you don't see these spots. Uh, but we got to have more uh, EMT slots, of course, to do it. Anyway, let's keep it going. Hey, Uni. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Don't get me wrong, I'm really happy that you got into the fine arts of bug catching. But you're gonna need some more tools if you wanna keep them up uh, if you wanna keep up with me. Like the Bug Scout sales manual says, if you're gonna run into the big Ormus, you gotta have horns. <laughs> why don't you why don't you just go check out the new stuff I've got in the stocks? It'll help you out. So apparently we got the sneaky smoke bomb. Be very, very quiet. The smoke bomb that prevents you from alerting bum bugs. Okay, so this one is just going to be the recipe I can buy. Also, what about this one? A standard bill for bug catching, higher chance of those. Ah, okay, I get it. And a sticky smoke bump as well. All right, anyway, I got to give him a cricket if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let me try to give him a cricket. Wait, what? Man, I think the, I think the gifting is glitched. <laughs> Perfect. Let me go into the map and let me head on back home. Oh, so you can return to your uh, plot after a few minutes. You cannot keep on spamming the uh, fast um, the fast travel feature. Interesting. So if I go to the map here, yeah, I can use it again in three minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess now we know. All right, let us see what we got to do here. Uh, how are things going? I love that we have such a big farm, though. Inventory's full. Uh, I'm going to have to water down everything, actually. Hold up. Aww. Let me grab this. Water everything down. I think I have one more potato if I'm not mistaken that I got a plant. So once I'm going to remove the uh, carrots there, I'm going to definitely make use of the potatoes. We go. Oh, need water. All right, perfect. This works. Uh, let me get rid of everything from my backpack, and then I'm gonna collect that one. Uh, so, get rid of everything, including those things, of course. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna get my arrows back, these ones, and these ones. And of course, I'm also gonna get back the These smoke bombs. Perfect. Let me see if I can make more smoke bombs because I kind of actually went through a lot of them. Oh, and now we have the recipe to make these ones. Yes. All right, let's make some. I'm going to try to collect as many bugs as possible, as many resources as possible because I need the money. I'm going to try to get 5,000 uh, coins eventually because increasing my backpack is definitely the way to go. Right, and just a few more to have a full stack. I think I should have 80 by now. Yeah, we got 80. So if I have one more, it's going to be full. Let's make one of these. And two of these. Or just going to make one. Yeah, just like that. All right, we have enough arrows. That's great. Right, we got that going. So, saying, let me collect this 
And hold up. I gotta get more. Where's the other seed? Potato seed. That's what I want. Seeds are gonna go in here. Probably wanna just sell the stuff that I have on me at the moment, to be honest. Oh no. Okay, let's grab this and make another tile. Perfect. Three, plant, and boom. And of course, lastly, water down. There we go, buddy. Awesome. We don't really have a big farm, but that's good enough for now. That is definitely good enough for now. All right, cool. So, we got to visit the register in Jill's shop. We got to ruins of Bahari's Bay. Uh, okay, got quite a lot of things to do. But first, let me get me some food if I can. By making meat. Oh, I think if I'm not mistaken, hold up. I'm going to try something. Let's just collect this one first. Let me get some clay by... Actually, some ceramic by using the clay. Get rid of these two... Okay, let's see how the food is going. So if I go in here, I try to make, for example, let's say these, right? What if I edit? What is... What's with the confirmation here? Oh, maybe you can actually choose different type of recipe that you can cook. And this say yes. Use quality ingredients. I don't know what this is. But I do want to eat to get some stamina for sure. Alright, collect. Oysters we cannot make. Let's make more of these mushrooms. Can I have... I cannot wait to have my own kitchen. That's gonna be so good. I'm gonna look and see if I have the proper resources. Though I'm pretty sure it's the ceramic that I need. Uh, that I actually started just making. So it's gonna take a while before I'm gonna have some uh, ceramic bricks. Okay. Make more grill. Let's also eat it up to increase my focus. Why am I not able to eat it though? I wonder. Hmm. Interesting, I cannot eat it. Select. And more meat as well. There we go. We got our focus increased. Awesome, that's what I'm talking about. And if I'm looking at my inventory here, we have 135 renown, which I can also use in order to increase my um, focus some more. I think I can make one more. And while at it, I'm gonna eat this up as well. Sometimes, <laughs> cannot eat for some reason. All right, perfect, that's been increased. If I go in here, let me sell the carrots, sell that. Oh, the waterlogged chest. Open this mysterious chest and receive the prize inside. Hold up, let me see what the, it's inside there. Okay, one, open. Ooh, we got a bench. Look at this thing. This one kind of looks like an exterior one, so let me actually place it over here by the uh, tree on this side. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let me keep on selling stuff. So, we can actually sell these ones. A bush still dragonfly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, feel cricket. Okay, so this one is the fire fire breathing dragonfly. Oh, they're so expensive. I'm gonna sell only one of them. A garden leaf hopper. Isn't it the same as this one? Oh, these are field crickets, and this one is a common field hopper. I think if I almost get I had to give this as a gift, yeah, so I'm gonna save it. All right, spot a stink bug, sell it. Got oysters we can sell. Stripped fish. I'm pretty sure this is another fish that we needed. 870 coins. There we go. Spice sprouts. Let's sell these ones as well. And also we can sell that. That's quite expensive as well. A spotted chapatel. Awesome. That's going to be a lot of coins. Perfect. Let's grab these. And head on out.
And lastly, uh, I'm gonna make my way to Buhari Bay. If I check the map here, there's nothing we can do anywhere close. I know that our mission is saying to go to visit register in Jill's shop. Um, but I don't know where Jill's shop is, to be honest. Oh, Jill's shop. This guy. So let me go to Jill's shop and see uh, what his shop is all about. Just to complete that mission and finish it, I guess. I think Jill's shop, if I'm not mistaken, is the clothing store, right? Pretty sure about it. Yeah, this is it. This is it. He's not inside, but all I gotta do is just go inside his store, though. There we go. That's where the mission took me to. So, of course, I'm gonna need a lot of these coins, which you only get, I think, by actually paying real money. I don't think you can earn these type of coins. I'm pretty sure you do not earn them. And then you can go ahead and get some of the outfits that you guys can find out here. They look pretty cool. Nothing really stands out to me at the moment, to be honest. I don't really... I'm not really interested in wearing any of these. Maybe these ones? Kind of like an adventure back, uh, pack? Or maybe like a capajama? <laughs> but these don't look bad, actually. Look at that. Yeah, these kind of look make you look like an adventurer. But I still do not really like it that much, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on it. I may just want something... I don't know. Something else. Something else I'm not seeing in the store at the moment. Maybe these ones? <laughs> I mean, sure. But still not my style. I've definitely seen somebody wearing this outfit. <laughs> not for my character, for sure. Did he just disappear? Nope, he's right here. Hey, buddy. Might I be of assistance? An artist's work is never done, but perhaps conversating with you shall give me some much-needed inspiration. I checked out the wardrobe in the shop. Oh, and was it a spectacular experience? You can have one trademark outfit of one of your every flipping mood. Mm -hmm. In the future, if you desire strikes and crave something new, simply open your wardrobe or return to my shop. New clothes will be delivered past haste, whatever you are. Oh, I've been so inspired by meeting you, I simply must give you a token of my appreciation. Call on me whatever you need, a fellow artist's eye. Alright, buddy. Uh, Kenna came into the shop the other day wearing the most fascinating piece of jewelry. She claims it was made of a, a barracuda teeth. I would like to see one of these creatures myself. Hmm. So oh, I think I'm supposed to here. give him a uh, tooth as well. Any read? <laughs> I feel like the outfits of male characters in the game are not as good as the females, to be honest. Alright, well, in that case, let me keep on going towards the mission, as I was saying, because the mission is taking us this way, uh, to Bahari Bay. I don't know how long it's going to take us to reach a level 5 in any of the skills. At the moment, I think the furthest we got to was level 4. I'm not sure exactly what skill, but hopefully I'm going to be able to reach level 5 soon with at least one of them. Alright, and in Bahari Bay, uh, I'm also going to try to catch me some bugs that we did not manage to catch before, such as crabs. Because I know for sure, I know for a fact we need some crabs for the vault. But in the meantime, let me see what I gotta go to. Uh, the path is taking me to 170 meters this way. Wait, why is my glider looking like that? I thought I... What? Why did my glider reset? Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Apparently because I got into a uh, different area here, my glider decided to also change. Not sure why that's a thing. That should most definitely not happen. Oh god. Hey fishy, stop moving. As I was saying guys, we are currently playing the game in uh, closed beta, so there are gonna be some glitches here and there happening. So we are gonna have to get used to uh, this kind of stuff. Wait, is there something on top of this thing? Oh, you can't climb it. I wonder if there's something on top of it. Answer is... I don't think there is. Oh yeah, never mind, it is. Wheat, sweet leaf, and something else. Wait, what is that? What? What is that? 
What is that? Heat root. What? Okay, so apparently there's going to be some collectibles that you're going to be able to find on the walls. Oh, hold up. What is... What is this bug? I'm getting distracted. Okay, this one is a legendary one. We need it. Hold up, buddy. Collect. Oh, it's a common field cricket. What? But it was shiny gold. Hold. Alright, in that case, let me climb up here because I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, the mission is taking me all the way to the top on this cliff. Come on, buddy. What, what are you doing? There we go. Climb over here. And lastly, keep on climbing all the way to the top on this side. Cooking one or two. Craft and place a stove on your plot. Craft and place a prep station on your plot. So I'm gonna have to craft both of them. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait for the clay to transform into ceramic. Wait, what? A purple shiny pebble? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, another one of these uh, pay respects. Here lies the heart of humanity. Brought to the devastation by the hundreds of thousands of hungers. We who remain shall remember. This is the ruin using flow can bring. To those who gave their lives for this lesson, we thank you. May these mistakes never be re repeated. I think this is what I had to come here for, yeah, because as I'm looking at uh, the mission, the mission is not showing me to come on this side anymore. So I'm guessing we just completed it. We just had to come on over and uh, read the um, statue there. Yeah, there are some visual bugs. For example, this guy is using his pickaxe, but he's also holding his uh, glider in his hand. Wait, what? I want this bug. No, nope. come back here. Got it. My first epic bug. Oh wait, that was an epic bug? What? How? Let's try to catch another one. Common one, that's fine. Another common one. Uh, let me go towards the beach area because I was saying I want to try to catch me a crab. There we go. That's another common one. Have, I, I don't think I've been on top of this one, so let me try to make it up here as well. While we're at it. Hopefully get another chest. Yeah, I think I can hear another chest up here. Yes, it is. Awesome. Ancient treasure chest. Can I open it? No. Alright, if I'm checking the map, of course the exit is behind me at Kalima Village, but as I was saying, I want to go to the beach cove a little bit to see if I can collect something. Let me also eat these two mushrooms, make more space. I keep on going this way. I'm gonna eventually get to the crabs. I'm definitely gonna save 5,000 coins to uh, get myself a better backpack for sure. Having a big backpack is the best thing, the best upgrade you can have in a game, in my opinion. Just because you're not gonna have to go back and forth, back and forth so many times. As uh, we're always gonna keep on collecting stuff while playing the game, or keep on exploring. We're all gonna, we're always gonna fill our backpacks with random uh, junk. Every single time. That's kind of like how it is with these type of games. Wait, where's the crabs? Are they actually sleeping because it's 5 a.m.? It might be. Which means I may just need to run about around here until they start spawning again. Well, we made our way to the beach. Why not just collect some random stuff? We're gonna need it eventually. We know we're gonna need it. Hey, level 5! We finally finished up a mission. We're finally level 5 on uh, one of our... Uh, Perks, I guess. All I gotta do now is just go to Eshe and also to Jira and shout with them. Oh, wait, this one is different. Hmm. Again. Gotta get rid of something. What? I'm gonna just get rid of the meat. There we go. Alright, let's collect some oysters. Oh, 
Oh, there's a crab. Let's go into the inventory again. Silk threads. Uh, throw away the hide. We're gonna get enough hide eventually. Let me try to catch me one of these things. Awesome, we got a Bukhari crab. I love it that they gave us the option to fast travel back home. And look at this, we have so much gold. So we just got 900, but we also had a few. So now we're all the way up to 1,200. Oh, the cap is 300,000? What? <laughs> so the game really wants you to spend uh, coins, or more like, yeah, coins on something. Uh, okay, let's give it up. Everything from my backpack. I'm not sure if this pine shell crab is the one that we needed for the vault, though. Definitely, definitely don't know if that's something I'm gonna need. Uh, this is gonna be placed in my house. There we go. One. Ooh, look at this. Awesome. Awesome indeed. And now we can also check our mail. A uni. Since we're both accomplished bug catchers, I think you're ready to build an even better bug belt. So, come and see me, um... When I guess you're around, or when you have time. I shall, buddy. I shall. I definitely need a better belt. I definitely need better everything. Including, we gotta water down our crops again. Make sure everything is gonna grow as fast as possible. Everything is looking good. That's gonna have to do its thing. I'm gonna have to do a lot of building, of course, and a lot of um, money I'm gonna need to buy stuff, which currently we don't really have that luxury. I mean, I just have 1,000 coins, but I definitely need more. Definitely, definitely need more. Okay, get rid of these ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not, that crab is not the one that I need. So, uh, let me just make my way to Jina and also Eshe. It is still pretty early in the morning. Hopefully everybody is... Wait, has my thing got fixed? Yes, he got fixed. <laughs> uh, okay, let me go this way. Man, the glider is so good. I think Gina is just coming over. This guy is 100 meters away. Uh, she's actually the closest, so let me have a quick shout with her. Tell her that we have finished up what, he requ what she requested. A magistrate's work Another human. This village done. is practically becoming overrun. <laughs> I'm sure you want to talk to me about securing a housing permit. Mm. Well, it's nice to want things. I want the crown jewels of uh, Aquindu, but you don't see me praising around in a ti tiara. If you need someone to hold your hand, talk to my uh, dimwit husband. Please, only disturb me if you have important matters to discuss too. Well, I have proven my purpose. Your advancing skills have finally earned my notice, Stanton. Oh. Hard work is backbone of a uh, paleo society. A good citizen improves the village of their talents. Awesome. What do you want? I could really use some leather for a new custom pair of uh, riding boots. Uh. Mm. Unfortunately, I do not have any leather on me. I but I will try to remember what you requested. In the meantime, let me make my way to this fella. Wait, he's not here. Is he just coming about? Where is this guy? Oh, I think he is inside his room. Never mind. All the way to the top over here. There we go. <laughs> he's always doing push ups in the morning. How can I help? That old sawmill holding you back already? Hmm. Well, let me see if I can rustle up a blueprint for a sturdier one. All right. Oh, man, I can get myself a, a startup axe. And, of course, the heavy sawmill, but everything is so expensive. And I said that I'm going to want to save for a bit of backpack, and that's what I'm going to want to do. But a standard axe is actually something I'm going to need. So I am at least going to get that blueprint. I may just need... Uh, so for this one, you need sapwood planks, copper bars. Okay, so you don't need the hardwood planks, so I don't need to get this one just yet. All right, I'm just going to go with that for now, buddy. 
Uh, also, no, at the same time, I want to ask. Do you have any preferences? I actually find it strange that I spent so much of my time helping the humans settle in. If I suddenly found myself appearing in a strange uh, new land, I want someone to help me too. Do you and Eshe get along? I try to get along with everyone. Even though we came from different backgrounds, we still have some things in common. Between you and me, she doesn't tip well. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I'm liking this guy. Alright, and lastly, let me go chat with Gina. Because we did finish the mission that she requested me to do. Hold up, Gina. I'm coming. Oh, and while we do that, we can also do a little bit of fishing as well. Although I'm pretty sure I'm not going to catch anything good. Since uh, I don't have the best fishing rod ever. But uh, hey, any fish we do because we can either cook them and use them uh, to get focus or just simply sell them in order to get coins. I'm okay with both. Alright, come fishy. Come here, buddy. Pretty sure you're not the one that I need for the vault. But I'm still gonna collect ya. Alright, a striped dance. Not bad. Let's keep her going. Now, where is Gina? Is Gina all the way to the mines? Oh, she's by another entrance. Never mind. How many of these entrances are for temples? There's so many of them. Ooh, uh, let's try to catch me this one. Let's see what this is. Oh god, I definitely do not have one of these. Also, this one is putting up quite a fight. Almost lost it. Let's see what we got here, buddy. Come on, come on. What is this? A Coleco K. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what Gina has to say because I think she's actually gonna help me get inside here. Hey Gina, what are you up to? Hi. I was so lost in my research, I almost didn't see you there. Uh, I visited ruins. Mm. Whoa, you did? What did you think? Um, how do we know it's true? Isn't it a little extreme to outlaw all flow usage? How do we know it's true? Exactly. I mean, there are so many varying accounts uh, about the fall of humanity. Every scholar has a different story. Aww. Oh, um, I mean, even if we don't know it's true, the order in the capital has decided to outlaw it for everyone's safety. Aww. They won't even let not order members study it. Trust me, I've applied for about 50 permit permits at this point. The order? Well, the official name is the United Order of the Paleo Republic, but it's a bit of a mouthful, so everyone just calls it the Order. It's their job to regulate the use of flow in Paleo, and well, if you break their rules, it's also their job to investigate and enforce punishments. The Order sounds strict. They can be a little intimidating. I haven't had to deal with them too much. Usually, I just fill out a form and I get a letter back telling me that my request has been denied. <laughs> so, Strict is right. In any case, I think you're more than uh, meet than expectations for learning about the past. I'm sure to let Eshe know. I'm sure that the key is somewhere. Helka told me that she says it's a flow in the ruins up in the hills over in Bahari. So, I think I gotta go in the ruins in Bahari in order to look for the key to mine for it. I forgot to eat again. You forgot to eat again. I feel like so many of these characters are female characters. So many. And of course, it's gonna be like a doorway right over here that we cannot open up. You need the key from Gina. Alright, so the key that I'm gonna be able to find uh, somewhere in the ruins of Bahari, I'm probably gonna have to use that in order to open up this ruin. Interesting.
interesting indeed. All right. Anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching another episode of Pilia here. Uh, this was a long one. Probably going to split this one in two. But uh, until next time, guys, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do not forget to like subscribe if you're new here and stay tuned for some live streams where i'm going to be able to of course uh just explore the world and collect a lot of stuff because i'm planning on making a lot of coins in the game and uh to do that we're gonna have to spend a lot of time just simply running about and collecting stuff all right see you later guys bye